to Serbia's Dusan Veletic, who has already gone out of this competition. So Lovchinsky will be seeking revenge here. Both men two wins away from that Paris 2024 quota spot. And you mentioned that having that buy. Sometimes when you have that, depends on your approach. It can work well for you as we see that victory over Nigeria for Dimitro Lovchinsky. But for Pratletic, as we can see. Yeah, I beg your pardon. I must have uh, got that wrong. It must have been, I think that was because you've had the occasional prelim rounds. So Pratletic must have had the prelim round, but then a bye in round one. The fact so. that you can even say Pratliacic's previous prelim round. <laughs> I think you deserve a medal of your own for that one. But yeah, I was going to say, if you have a bye, it can count against you. Sometimes you're a bit rusty when you come in, but if this is uh, two men that know each other well, I'd be interested to see the start, especially the catching work of Pratliacic, the taller of the two in that right hand, right foot forward. Pratlicic, you can see the taller of the two, the southpaw leading with the right. Lovchinsky, obviously having lost by unanimous decision in the first qualifier in Italy. Talked about it before, if you've come off that, you, you don't want to continue the same bout. You, you want it to be fresh, but obviously that's going to be in both of these men's minds. Yeah, that's, the, that's the key dynamic in all this one. You can't make this into round four. If you've dropped it, you've got to try and make it round one, reset, do something a little bit different. But in doing that, you're in a little bit uncharted territory. As we see Lovchinsky in red. I'm just reminding of myself of that because Pratletic's boots are pretty much the Ukrainian flag with the blue and yellow. That is the Croatian just holding the centre. Two men affording each other plenty of respect. And just as I say, that Pratly Chich with a lovely left sort of shovel uppercut punch, which hit the mark. Lovchinsky struggling to get beyond that jab of Lovchinsky, who's not really throwing it, he's just sort of just putting it out there as like a shield almost. Absolutely right Rory, he's just reminding him look at what you could have won, so just trying <laughs> to keep him out of the road and hit the bullseye when he can but just that backhand there from Pratchelatic, that's the one that he's got to look out for that's Lovchinsky who's trying to do those bent arm shots, which again you've got to get in closer to do and as you've mentioned, not easy when that big guard is out there. I'm surprised the referee hasn't spoken to Pratliacic about that right hand because it's not, it's not a punch, yep. really. It's yep. just waving it. And we've seen referees earlier intervene and say, come on, you can't do that. Yeah, the referee will maybe have a little look at that, but trying to find his way around there. Lovchinsky found one and, and took a little left hook upstairs. Or sorry, I should say landed one upstairs. Pratliacic going to the body and they got up close. Not too much to report from that first round. I, I thought if there was an edge, it was tactically for the Croatian. Yeah, I think using that front arm as a wanding guard, let's see what the judges think. Close, as you say, it goes for Dmitry Lovchinsky. So just a little bit too passive from Pratliacic. But Lovchinsky did work. There was one really good little left hand over the shoulder when he got in. Probably see it here in this second highlight here. So he carried the fight. He was competitive. That was the left yeah. hand, I think, just then. And that's the margins. Yeah, it's, it was a very tight first round. Not dissimilar to our previous bout, which was, again, a contrast of size and styles. 
Yeah, I don't think uh, Prat Liacic will be too perturbed. He knows he's beaten this man recently and it's close and a chance to come back. Yeah, I think so. I think the only thing that if he can do is get his feet moving with his hands. He's fallen over his lead foot at the moment, leaving those spaces. So if he can get that front foot moving closer to the man in red, that'll give him more space for his backhand like so. Levchinski starting this second round brightly. It goes back to what you and I spoke of, Rory, of learning the lessons of a previous defeat and starting off fresh. Really good right over the top from Levchinski. Left to the body. Bradley Chich. Just a bit passive at the moment, Levchinski. Although he's somewhat on the back foot, now he starts to come forward. But, but Pratlicic not really attacking with any purpose. Yeah, he's thrown both shots individually. There's no one-two, it's one-two. And that rhythm is not working because by that time, Levchinski's got in close and going for these hooks and lands it again. Good boxing from the Ukrainian. That comes Pratliacic at range. But Lovjinski doing a really good job of just cutting down the range. And he's not he's not coming in really close, but close enough so that Pratliacic can't land. Yeah, absolutely right. Controlling that range. He's also landing on the outside of the jab hand to avoid the power backhand. So that's why he's thrown that hook every time to finish on this side as closest to the camera. To avoid the, the power, obviously, and the southpaw backhand, the left hand. He's had a fair bit of success with that right hook, has Pratliacic, and there it is again. Beg your pardon, has Lovchinsky. It was there again, but Pratliacic countered. Now they're in close, and the referee breaks them up. And I'd like to have seen that play out a bit longer. Just over 30 seconds left. Pratliacic, you feel, needs a big finish to this round. Yeah, he's got to step it up. He's got to step on the gas. He's got the power. It hasn't let... That's better, but the referee's going to give him a warning. A strike into the back of the head, but if he can get a bit of a, a charge down the stretch here, could still be there for him. But again, Lovchinsky has been excellent. Pratliacic missing with the uppercut and now Lovchinsky getting in there in close. I think that's another round for Lovchinsky. He took it by four to one the first round. And he's got that one on all five scorecards. Yeah, more than deserved that one, did Dmitry Lovchinsky. Always up there, giving Pratlich a lot of problems. And for look up. Pratlicic, it's a difficult one because something looks not right. He does look tired. He's, he's been he's had the mouth open. He can also be carrying a previous injury. You never know. And because it's such a short, sharp, speedy format, maybe you've not warmed up effectively. You can have a bad night's sleep. You never know. But he doesn't look at his best. And the, probably the reason for that's in the red corner. Yep, Lovchinsky doing a really good job of nullifying his thread. He's got a bit of marking around the right eye, which is just being seen to by the corner. But Pratliacic needs to dig deep here because he's behind on four of the scorecards. And we are in the super heavyweight bracket, yeah. so, you know, puncher's chance and all that. Yeah, you're right, he's got to try and set up something big, but getting kept off balance there nicely by Lovchinsky. Good, intelligent boxing. From the Ukrainian in red. Chich had him in the corner momentarily, but Lovchinsky gets away. Doesn't seem to be too much behind Pratlich's punches in. in in terms of well, power and commitment, it's, it just looks a bit 
I don't know, just looks a bit flat. Yeah, doesn't look himself. I wonder if he is, as I say, could be carrying an injury, but he's certainly eating a big shot there again from Lovchinsky, who, by way of contrast, has done everything right from the first bell. He just needs to stay concentrated. Big shot there, though, from Prat Ratic. The power of the Croat, as you mentioned, Rory, still to be respected. Yeah, Lovchinsky just had his head up in the wrong place there and he was clocked. Can Pratliacic build on that? Saw a big gulp of air from Lovchinsky. Won't take too many of those shots to make an impact and that marking has become a cut. Minute and a half to go, so he should be able to get through this. All depends on what the doctor says. Yeah, you would like to think that the judges would give the benefit of the doubt here down the stretch for Lovchinsky. He's made of tough stuff, the young Ukrainian, but Pratlicic has a chance now to get his energy back. He's also got a target, but if he's smart about it, he won't just go headhunting from the outset. He'll need to try and set this up because Lovchinsky has the warning lights on now. And with that blood running down his eye, well, the referee or the judge has just signalled there a cross of the arms. This is over. So the cut... Maybe it wasn't in the same spot where he had the marking. Might have been a bit more central. But the doctor has called this one off. And it was a legitimate straight shot from Dmitry Lovchinsky. Oh, sorry, I should say from Luka Pratletic to Lovchinsky, who was leading... He was looking good. But somehow, in some way, the Croatian has found the answer. And it was a good punch. It was a good punch. So, we wait for the decision. Now, the only thing I could say, the blood that was coming out of it was very dark, which means it's a deep cut. So, But that could just be the angle of the lights that we're seeing that at. He'll be disappointed that it's been stopped in, in that manner I'm sure he could have continued but it seems to be deep across that eyebrow it does it does and nervous moments for both men let's just wait and find out what the decision is the winner going through to tomorrow's quote about yeah, it wasn't a stoppage by a head clash but ahead on the scorecards was Lovchensky The doctor deeming unfit or Ladies unable to continue. Ladies and gentlemen, your winner by split decision in the red corner. And it's gone to the scorecards, and Lovchinsky, because he was ahead, gets the decision. Four to one. So Lovchinsky, well, they're going to have to get to work on that cut straight away because he's got a bout tomorrow, a big bout tomorrow and I think he's a deserving winner but yeah. the question mark is about tomorrow Yeah, no question, he's made it through to tomorrow, good work from the medical team they've given him a chance to not sustain any more punishment and get into that decisive quota bout being stopped for a cut wasn't a clash of heads, but a good clash of skills. Deserving there, ahead on the scoreguards. And just about a cut above the rest there in this final.